Fabio and I are so shocked with Myanmar. Let me tell you, when I say shocked, shocked. I'm sure these four days are gonna surprise us here. I don't know what we expected. We just didn't expect this. Yeah, very, very different. This is probably the most amazing market we've ever been to. I must say, this experience today really opened up my eyes. After a two hour nap, we are ready to explore the city. First impression, this city is super super busy and there are no tourists whatsoever. It's interesting, the size of papayas are like triple the size that we're used to seeing in Canada. So right now we are just walking the streets of Yangon and it's close to our hostel and we just want to get the feel of our neighborhood and what's going on. And like Fabi said, it's definitely busy. It's a lot different than Thailand. It's so different. Wow, we did not expect this. Myanmar is actually different from Thailand. Well, obviously, but like, I don't know what we expected. We just didn't expect this. Yeah, very, very different. Guys, I'm laughing because Fabio and I are so shocked with Myanmar. Let me tell you, when I say shocked, shocked. So this is kind of like a first impression, right? Definitely, it's a culture, cultural shock for me. Um, and I'm glad we went through Thailand first because I think if I landed here first first it would have been much harder on me our hostel is right downtown right when we walked around as you saw to explore downtown it was so different vibe again this is our very first impression we only saw a couple of streets not too much maybe because we stayed right downtown and it's like mm -hmm. right where the market is I think it's kind of like the Chinatown or something wow it's just busy it's yeah. just different the building and now Fabio and I are at the mall because and we don't do that we never eat at the mall we never eat at the mall we're very open we're very open and i'm sure these four days are gonna surprise us here yeah uh, very first impression this is, is just a first impression guys exactly this is very first impression we just want to ease into it slowly and yeah uh, definitely we'll give it a try mm -hmm. we'll enjoy this trip four days in myanmar let's go so for lunch guys here we are i just got steamed pork fabio got noodles and we're at the mall <laughs> We're so shocked still, but here, that's where this, this is what we're having. Now we got a quick cappuccino and we feel a little bit better. We were speaking to a couple of locals to figure out what to do and what to see here in Yangon. And we have a couple of ideas. So we're going to check out the lake first, see how it is, and we'll let you know. We're heading to the park now, y'all. We are, it's still a bit bright and hot and sunny, but we're gonna enjoy Myanmar as much as possible. I'm sure there's a lot of beautiful things to do and things to see in Myanmar. Let me tell you, they love honking. They love honk. See, they love it. They just love it. No, no, <laughs> with no reason whatsoever. They just go for it. We're here at the park. It's so nice, the breeze. Guess I'm running two hours sleep. <laughs> I didn't sleep at all last night. But the park is nice. And there's a lot of couple going on dates. Very romantic. So I would like to call this park a romance park. This is actually a beautiful park. There's a lot of trees and there's this artificial lake that is huge. So we're gonna make it all the way around or part of it at least. And tomorrow we're coming in this area to work out a little bit after our exploration. Right, Yanni? Who said that? <laughs> Who said that? Who said that? Who said that? Who said that? We'll come here, we'll do some workouts, some yoga, and enjoy life. update guys so Yanni is eating snacks while we wait for sunset it's been a beautiful day here in the park we just walked and reconnect to nature and uh, 
we actually got a chance to chill for a moment because it was quite hectic the place where we're staying it's very it's a very very busy area of the city we realized that it's probably the busiest commercial area where there's a lot of local markets and a lot of things going on so here is a nice getaway and a nice way to chill after the long trip that we had to get here I'm still running two hours sleep though, I'm so tired, but this is really nice. We went for a walk, the whole thing, it's a huge park. It's a man-made lake and it's huge, but we went for a walk and it's so pretty. Yo, we're gonna be exploring the Yangon Market, the Yangon Night Market here in Yangon, Myanmar. <laughs> <laughs> and this Yangon Night Market is, the, is by the Yangon River. So a lot of Yangon tonight. Right now we're in the Yangon Heritage Center where there are a lot of colonial buildings and it's very very cool. Before the night market we're gonna quickly explore the Heritage Center. This one here is the Costume House. This one behind me is the Port Authority. And this building that you see behind me they still use it as office these days. This is the Myanmar Economic Bank. This one is the Agricultural Development Bank. This is the Inland Water Transport. And last one is the Lokanat Gallery building. That's it for this exploration, now food time. To cross we always have to take the escalator and go to the other side because it's eight lanes, these main streets. Eight lanes of craziness. No traffic lights, no crosswalk lights. The smell of tropical fruit it's so good. Like, where are we? Yangon, Myanmar, Southeast Asia to be exact. So the problem now is how do we cross? We learned one thing. Tag onto a local and just follow. Wow, look at Fabio crossing like a pro. We did that, Fabio. We conquered we that. We did, we did. We conquered that fear. This is probably the most amazing market we've ever been to. It's so cool. It's definitely unique in the middle of a highway. There's a lot of phones. They're selling a lot of technologies. We couldn't find any people selling food. All they're selling was watches, vintage, jewelries. So now we don't know where we're gonna eat. I thought it was going to be a very, very long market with a lot of food, but it was just technology. Just technology, no food. I must say, this experience today really opened up my eyes so much about. There's really so much more to see in the world. Earlier today, we were a bit like, oh my God, it's a bit, we don't know about Myanmar. It's, we were so culture shocked, but you know, it's part of the world. It is what it is. People here are living this way and we want to experience. And now we're walking in the highway. We don't know where to go. Oh, there are bars here. Maybe we can go to a bar. Let's see. Oh my God, it's going to be a nice bar because we can watch the sunset upstairs. So while walking in the highway after the market there, apparently it goes over there as well. So it's a pretty long market. So we're going to explore that area. But first, we're going to eat here because we saw this nice patio upstairs. There's this bar downstairs and there's a nice patio and we thought it was only drinks but they also serve food so we're having dinner here and we have a nice view of the highway. All the colonial houses and oh my god, it's everything is so cheap here in Myanmar. Like one dish I ordered with rice and fried egg and fried pork all in one plate. I think it was only $2.80, am I right? No, look, mine was $1.80. Wait, are we doing this math correctly or are we converting it wrong? So my dish is $1.80, so I got margarita with it as well, which is $2.80. And we got fried chicken wings, which was how much? It's cheap. I got a lychee soda for just $2 and it looks delicious. Food was delicious. Now we're gonna explore a little bit more the night market because apparently there's a little bit more. We were very shocked because we started the market and it looked super crowded, but it was just technology the whole the whole way. So hopefully now we'll see some more traditional things, maybe some more food, some stuff. I don't know. So that dinner cost us eleven dollars and twenty cents divided by two, six dollars each. Okay, there's a lot of different restaurants by the highway near the sea or the river. A 
and all this is just in the middle of the highway this is so interesting so definitely in the second part of the market there's a lot more food and other things you can find more typical of here instead of just the electronics of the first part. so in this area here you have your private boots and further down we can see we have the traditional booths like the real market market like raw market Fabio is so cute, he's buying tangerine, he's like, can I have tangerine this much? <laughs> this much. It's by Kilo here, Bunny. Not used to it. I know, it's cute. We got a quick ice cream and finally now we're back to our hostel and we're about to sleep because we are so tired. So we're gonna take a nice shower, enjoy a show in bed and then see you tomorrow. Oh no. We have two different beds. I'm sleeping here. I have the big one. You know? <laughs>